Hi everyone, my name is Glowburn and welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I share my travel vlogs where I have gone to places in Australia. So if you'd like to check out my last video, you can click on um, the card up above here. Today, we're going to talk about the 25 things I have learned in 25 years. I turned 26 in January and I have decided that my 26th year in this world would be a year where I do things that I don't normally do. I wanted this year to be something memorable for me. Something that I would look back to when I'm older and say, wow, I can't believe I did that. I've learned a lot of lessons that made me the person who I am today. So today I'd like to share the 25 things I've learned in 25 years. Let's start. You matter. What anyone else says about you doesn't really matter. Your view of yourself is so much more important than what others think of you. Let's try to see within ourselves as well. What do we have to offer? What do we have that only we have? What do I have that only I have? What makes me unique? When you find that out, embrace it. You're made to be you. No one else is like you. Set goals and stick to them. Think of what you want to do. Think of what you want to accomplish. Write those goals down and the steps you need to do to achieve them and stick to them. You'll be surprised by following what you have written down by following the path that you've made for yourself, you'd be surprised where you will have reached or who the person you will become in a year. So stick to those goals. Do things little by little. Doing things little by little, even if it's just taking five minutes to do the dishes that have used for the whole day, five minutes to clean your room, or save five dollars a day, I find that in time, if I do it consistently, I'm able to achieve that goal. It's so much easier to do things little by little than doing them in big chunks. Discomfort is good. Good! You probably think I'm crazy saying this, but I've learned that being out of your comfort zone is the best thing that could happen to you. There might be things in life that we might not, we might not be comfortable with. Embrace all the discomforts in life. There might be a lesson lurking somewhere behind the clouds. Be financially literate. Financial literacy isn't only about saving money. It's knowing how to handle your money, where to save your money, and probably where to make it grow as well. It's also getting ready for the future. We never know what might happen. We might get into an accident or we might lose our jobs. We never know. So it's best to have a fund so that you will have something to go on when your primary source of income is not there anymore. Every little thing that you save today adds up and becomes a big amount tomorrow. Travel, travel, travel. Well, duh, this is sort of a travel vlog channel. <laughs> travel doesn't really have to be a luxury five-star hotel stay in an exotic country. It can also mean a day trip to the beach or a day trip to that island that you've always wanted to go to. Travel refreshes your soul and it gives you the opportunity to learn things about yourself that you wouldn't have otherwise known if you just stayed in one place. Be kind. When random people do acts of kindness, to other people, there's sort of this magic in the air. Let me tell you a secret. If you're the one doing it, it makes other people feel good, but you feel it twice more. We are blessed to bless others. Get active! Stuck in a rut? Bored? Don't know what else to do? Can't get that report done or that write-up done? Get active! Go for a walk! Change your scenery! Go for a run! Aside from being good for your health, exercise releases good hormones in your body to lighten up your mood and helps you to think better and to think clearly. You don't have to do 50 burpees, 25 push-ups, and 15 jumping jacks. A simple jog, 5-minute jog or 5-minute walk can do wonders. Give. Not everyone is fortunate to enjoy the fullness of life. 
We are blessed to bless others. It doesn't have to be money. It can be time or a shoulder to cry on or even an ear to listen to. Giving is a simple thing, but sometimes it's very hard to do. However, it makes the world a much better place. Failure isn't all that bad. Sometimes life just doesn't work the way we want to. Maybe God just doesn't want us to do something just yet. Maybe everything's not ready yet. Maybe He wants us to do something else first before this thing that we want to do. However, failure isn't all that bad. We don't even have to call it failure. It's just another closed door. That's not where you're meant to go yet. It just means that there are other windows of opportunities that can open up to you. Don't call it a failure, just call it a redirection. Forgive and move on. People come in and out of our lives and there are some people that we care about so deeply. These people end up hurting us the most. Just forgive and move on. I'm not saying to forget about it, not for them but for yourself, to have peace of mind so that you can have peace in your heart, move on. Life goes on. It's better to have a peaceful heart and a peaceful mind. Just forgive, learn from that mistake, and move on. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. Step out of your comfort zone. You will never know what is on the other side of the road if you don't cross it. All the great experiences and memories come from outside of our comfort zone. Extend that comfort zone. Don't let that comfort zone be this big. Extend it. Have great memories. Have great things to talk about when you get older. Wonderful things that you can tell your grandchildren about. <laughs> it will be difficult. You will feel uncomfortable. But it will be worth it. I assure you. An attitude of gratitude. I like how this phrase sounds. It's so catchy. <laughs> It's easy to get caught in the stresses of life but having an attitude of gratitude it's just the most wonderful thing you can have in the world. Having that attitude makes you see the silver lining, makes you see the good in all the bad. And life wouldn't be so bad if, after all, if you just widen your perspectives and focus on the good, life will be so much easier. Choose to love. Along the road we will meet people who are just plain unlovable but always choose to love you never know what they're experiencing as Martin Luther King Jr. says darkness cannot drive out darkness only light can do that hate cannot drive out hate only love can do that there's no better time than now have you always dreamed of doing something or learning an instrument starting a blog or even starting a youtube channel but think that you're not good enough well the best piece of advice is to start now you will never get good at something if you don't practice it and then soon enough you get better at it so there's no better time than now if you really want to do something do it now be proactive not reactive when life throws you lemons, it's so easy to just grab those lemons and throw them back harder. <laughs> it's so easy to complain when, about things when life just doesn't go our way. But instead of complaining and doing nothing about how to improve your situation, think about how you can improve it. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm such a perfectionist. I don't know, I guess it's just the way I've been brought up. Mistakes are a part of growing up and being a better person. Remember that masters were once beginners like you. Live the life that gives you meaning. Society has a path that is ready for everyone to take. So you go to school, get good grades, have a degree, work, own a home, get married, have a family, have grandkids. And that's pretty much it. But if that path doesn't give you meaning, then what's the point of all this? Everyone is different. Everyone has different paths in life. 
and if you follow the life that you want to have and that gives you meaning then that's the best life you can ever have take time to reflect we spend so much time watching other people's lives and wishing that we could be them we could have their lives take time to reflect see where you are now and a certain where you want to be and take steps to where you want to go to maybe you can look at who you were before and look at who you are now so that you can see your progress you'll be surprised at how much you've grown in the past year moderation is key there's so much good things in life that you want to have all the time french fries chocolate wine watching your favorite tv series i mean they're all fun they're all good things but too much of something is bad too much french fries can lead to hypertension too much chocolates can lead to diabetes too much wine can lead to liver problems and too much tv may lead to insomnia take care of your body so that you can have more time to enjoy what is important to you and spend your time with the ones that you love be content with what you have most of the things that catches your eye in the shops you may already have them in your closet let fear motivate your faith fear comes when we notice that we are not in control of a situation anymore but fear doesn't have to be bad fear helps us acknowledge that we were never in control but that there is someone higher who is in control of everything and will not fail fear leads us to faith where my strength ends god's power begins keep learning i don't believe in the saying that you can't teach an old dog new tricks maybe that's true for dogs but i don't think it's true for people if a person is determined to learn something he or she wants to learn then he will learn it it may not be as fast as when we were young but he will certainly learn it i learned how to ride a bike when i was 26 it will never be too late to learn something new own up to your mistakes when you know you've hurt someone or did something by mistake and no one else saw it own up to it it is better to start mending the rift now than later when others find out about it integrity is better than ability you may be good at something but if your heart is not right or if you have the wrong motives then people will find you out people won't trust you when they learn that you're doing this for yourself instead of for others which you claim remember that god sees your heart people may see that you're doing the right things but if you're doing it for the wrong motives god sees that so have your heart in the right place and let your good deeds overflow from god's love that is within your heart so those were the 25 things that i've learned in 25 years wow i'm so old <laughs> anyway if you'd like to share things that you have learned comment them down below and if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next week for another video then. Bye!